I do one, two, just in your mind think the other is two, three, four, five. That's what you're working towards. You know, so just practice. I mean, of course, you've got puppies, you've got dogs that are not going to do that the first time over. Um, you know, and some people, you know, you want the tail at 12 o'clock so you can hold it like this. Some people might do this a little bit more. I tend to, um, I give people advice when they're stacking their dog. If you have a dog that's a little bit longer, you can maybe stack them a little wider in the rear and pull them together slightly and it kind of pulls everything together and it gives an appearance of being a little shorter backed. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people do that. Um, you know, the other question that people have asked me too is how do you get your dogs to stand on the table with their tail up by themselves? How do you, your dog, all your dogs do it. Again, this is temperament. This comes from the dog. Some dogs have it, some dogs don't. Um, if you've got a dog that you know like is on the, ta you know, on the floor, they always have their tail up, um, it's something that you can encourage on the table by just playing relaxed games with them. Often I, you know, I play with them, I tell them they're good, and if it gets them to get their tail up, then I go, oh, good, you know, good dog, you know, where's your tail, where's your tail? Mm -hmm.